Hey, what's going on guys? Code Monkey Kings here. I've been so busy with my new chess programming channel, so I didn't make videos on web scraping for quite a bit of time. But recently I got an email from one of my subscribers asking to help him with a post request within the scrapy framework to make in order in order to scrape this uh, laptop uh, data from gbhifi.com.au. So uh, the approach that he was uh, considering uh, was quite pretty predictable. So he was trying to make this using uh, so-called Scrapey's form request, which is uh, a way to e to make post request easy when the form data is uh, passed within the form request as uh, as the dictionary. But in this case. Uh, the form data uh, actually looks a little bit, um, I don't want to say weird, but, but not really that uh, common. And I just tried to apply this form request just, just as he did to, in order to make uh, an HTTP post request to this sort of a site. But, but unfortunately the form request method couldn't, uh, uh, did refuse to take um, the, this sort of a string that has been parsed into a dictionary by JSON loads command, and he actually re refused to, to, to take this. So uh, uh, I was thinking, like, what kind of solution that we could we could have came uh, came up with in this case, and I decided just I decided just to try the bare post request uh, without this fancy uh, form request from Scrapey. So in this video, I will provide a simple one-line solution for you guys to be able actually to. Uh, get this uh, get this JSON data and even parse the, parse it into uh, and even parse it yeah into a string basically well for, first to dictionary then to string just to pretty bring this uh, in the console and then obviously I guess my subscriber would would actually be able to reference uh, this uh, uh, this kind of title description and all this stuff or maybe even I should turn this on my own well let's let's have a look so uh anyway i just want to let me open the terminal in uh, on my desktop and going back here and i just want to invoke my scrapey shell so um, first we need to say from scrapey import request to be able to fetch the request object not uh, not the very URL itself, and then we can say so. Uh, I would probably like to make a uh, request and response simultaneously in order to actually fit the one liner format. So I just enclose them within the parentheses to create a tuple where the first element would be fetch, and the second, uh, or also need to import uh, import JSON. Okay, so here we'll First, let's just try to say response.txt to, pre to, to print this. Uh, we can even print this like so. And then within our fetch method here, uh, we create a new request object and specify the bunch of parameters. So the first one would be the URL that would be equal to the URL, URL grab from, from here. So just copy this and paste. Then I need to specify the method. The method will be equal to post, obviously. And then instead of the form data, like in that fancy form request, I'll just use, I, ju I just want to use the bare uh, body uh, uh, keyword, keyword argument here. And body would be equal, it, it would be a string. And now we need to just grab this form data, not in, not view parse, not here. It just browser par parses it definitely wrong way. It happens, yeah, it just happens. But just to grab this raw string here, just trying to copy it, and then go back to your to your uh, to your scrapey shell and paste uh, paste this just right into in here. And if I did everything correctly, then after hitting enter, I hope to see. Uh, the 200 response and yeah and also we do have our data being parsed here so now uh the very first thing to consider would it be actually to 
uh, parse this to Python dictionary from the bare string. So if in, order to, in order to do this, I need just to say JSON dot loads and this sort of stuff here. And now in order to prettify this as you know, like in a more hu human readable way, I just can say print and then say JSON dot dumps. And the first argument would be this JSON load stuff, then indentation equals to two spaces, close JSON dumps, close print parentheses. And now we should print this in a more human readable way. And now you, we can already see that uh, the data is being available, but we don't really want to, to use to, uh, to deal with all the data. So we can just limit ourselves with uh, preview. So results zero and hits so I just uh, I just now try to specify the appropriate uh, keys here so response text so this is the dictionary so um, now let's try to uh, take care of results here uh, and I'm not really sure like is this a key or is just uh what is this so well, well we'll see now so let's first try to reference this results and i guess this is the list right so probably probably take uh, the very first argument of this the, the very first index from the results will it will it allow me to do so yeah it seems like and from here i just want to uh, take this hits okay so now okay per perfect so now we get this uh all the stuff regarding our laptops i guess so highlight well i'm not really oh and here yeah actually we have uh we have uh we have the uh, in the, is this a list or what is this mm, just trying to, to figure out the data type so now we are at hits and hits is the list oh okay okay so hits is the list oh so if i just if i just try to print the very first element within the hits so will it give me a single okay product face a category title yeah it it, it 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 all it already seems like so highlight results highlight results okay Uh, I'm just wondering, just hold on a second, I just grab this highlight results. Can I? Oh, these are the list, the list items. Uh, yeah, I can't print the highlight results within the only element, but I, uh, but I can do this for all. Mm. Yeah, I can print this for the only element, but can't do this for all, really. So I guess that's... Yeah, let me still let me just try to make it at least for one here. So highlight results for for, for the only one. Okay. So yeah, in order to make this to print this for everyone, I need to use the list comprehension here. So uh, just get rid of this stuff and from this as well, and try to use my list comprehension. Uh, uh hold on a sec so now now let me get rid of this print uh okay so we'll, we'll go slightly a bit different way so get rid of print get rid of uh json dumps okay so still make sure this still compiles and runs okay and now to use the list comprehension here and say for laptop in this list uh, I want laptop and this highlight results it should work now okay and if I now just try to print and now to say json.dumps and this laptop highlight and 
and indentation equals the two spaces. Okay, so now we should print pretty print. Okay, regarding every product. Okay, so we got this SKU title category. Well, okay, it's, it's now already seems like uh, more or less reasonable data. I'm not sure which data in particular he needs to, to, to scrape from this sort of a uh, some sort of a structure, or well, probably, uh, probably he he would like to scrape uh, the title. So every every everyone has the title and the value. Well, let's try to scrape them something else. Like, um, I don't know, is there any price? Well, maybe price is taken from other API. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't well may, maybe price is taken from from the higher level actually that that is also possible so uh, okay if I just if I print not the highlight results again but just try to print all the all the stuff available there so product type okay may, maybe here so do we have any price online timestamp category okay we got the price so it's just okay we got also this primary title okay so probably hold on a sec mm, mm, uh, hold on a sec we got this price and primary title let's try to scrape these guys because for sure they would have been needed uh, okay Product facets category category. Okay, again. So uh, just hold on a sec. So we are at uh, results zero hits, and for every single hit. So this is the laptop. Okay. So I'm just wondering. Uh, I saw a, pro a title there. So let's try if laptop title would, would work for us. Uh, actually, let's get rid of this JSON dumps for a while, or for, for forever. Okay, so and let's try to print laptop tile. Yeah, it works. Okay, perfect. And if, let's say we have the laptop price. This should work still okay got perfect we got the, the we got the price so let's actually try to store this uh to csv at the moment so i just also want to import the csv module here and uh, first let's define the structure so i mean the dictionary so we will have this like dictionary and we'll replace this print with CSV dictionary writer, I guess. Yeah, with a CSV dictionary writer. So um, uh, here, let's say tile, and this would be equal to this. Okay, and also the price would be equal to laptop and price. Okay, let's try to run. So now we should see the pairs. Okay, we got the title and the price for, for a given laptop. Okay, and now let's try to... Um, now let's try to write this to CSV, basically. Uh, so instead of printing, uh, I want to create CSV dot dictionary writer uh, and dot right row okay so it would take open let's call this laptops dot csv and we want to append to file stream because we want to be uh, doing this line by line and the second argument to the dictionary writer would be the field names so let's consider the title and 
the price. And if I did everything correctly, it should now provide this laptops.csv file here. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look. I hope to see like titles on the left and prices on the right. Just the bare two columns. Quite pretty simple. So let's make sure that it works actually. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it is perfectly. It works perfectly well. So this is it, guys. Well, okay. So uh, I think this is it for this video. So I hope uh, this uh, the, uh, the the usage of the bear post request with with the specifying uh, body keyword body keyword argument as the bear string taken from the browser makes perfect sense uh, compared to using this uh, fancy form request that is not actually capable of parsing this sort of a data so I even if i do parse this data to uh to the python dictionary using the json load loads command still it's not to be uh it's not about to be approved by the form request form data keyword argument that actually gives an error like uh the the, the data has that has been provided is kind of wrong there so that's quite pretty simple well okay guys so this is it for this video uh I'm sorry for not doing some web scraping videos because I'm really, really busy with my chess programming channel. I'm trying to develop it from scratch and, I've all, and I'm already maintaining uh, a, chess, a chess engine that I'm currently working on there. Also, I'm, at the same time, I'm making lots of tutorials on how to make or how to write your own chess engine. I already did the part that regards to, mood to, to the mood generator. It's what about 20 plus videos there. And now I'm making uh the search parts so how one can uh write a chess engine uh using the chess program the chess engine framework that i've created uh uh in order to do this so now it gives you an ability an ability to actually just go in with writing your chess chess programming logic straight ahead without being bothered by creating the mood generator so uh, i would really appreciate if you have a look at my new chess programming uh uh, at my new chess programming YouTube channel. Same code, Makakin, but a bit different topic. I understand that you, probably most of you don't really care about this, but I would really appreciate. You cannot like an, this video and you cannot subscribe to this channel, but I would really appreciate if you subscribe to this chess programming and follow a couple of tutorials to have a look like the style of this guy. So this is kind of it. Well, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I really gotta go now. So until the next time and take care.